Hello Kido, Sir E is here and today we will continue discussing about types of circuit connection. Last time we have talked about series connection and today we will focus on parallel circuit. <laughs> Our objective is to explain the advantages and disadvantages of parallel connections in homes. What is a parallel circuit? It looks like this one. In a parallel circuit, the components are connected to the source in two or more loops. If you can still remember, in series, it is just single. But for parallel circuit, you could have two or more loops. Therefore, there are several paths through which the electric current can flow. To further understand the characteristics of a parallel circuit and how it works, then let's describe them according to these aspects. Current, voltage, and resistance. For its current, the sum of individual currents in each of the branches is equal to the main current. Let's use this illustration above for us to visualize these descriptions. In a parallel connection or circuit, the current is the sum of individual currents in each of the branches is equal to the main current. And we express it using this equation. For us to visualize this description, then let us use this illustration above. We got here three bulbs labeled one, two, and three. If the main current running through it is equal to six ampere, then we are assuming that all the bulbs have equal resistance, then bulb one would have two amperes, Bulb 2 also have 2 amperes and 3, 2 amperes as well. And when we add them up, it is equal to 6 amperes. What if the resistance in these bulbs are not equal? Let's assume that the current passing through the bulb 1 is 1 ampere while bulb 2 has 2 amperes. Then bulb 3 has 3 amperes. So still, when we add them up, it should be equal to 6 ampere, which is the main current. So this is the concept about the current in a parallel circuit. This time, let us proceed to the voltage. The potential difference across each branch is equal equal to the potential difference across the whole circuit. If we assume that the socket has 240 volts, then the voltage running through this bulb 1 is 240 volts as well. How about in bulb 2? Hmm, you got it right. 240 and lastly for bulb 3, the same. So always remember that the voltage in a parallel circuit is always equal to its components. Lastly, resistance in parallel circuit. So for us to get the reciprocal of the effective resistance or total resistance in a circuit, then we have to get the sum of the reciprocal of all the individual resistance. Then we can express it using this equation. And as you apply this equation, you would observe that the total resistance is always smaller than the smallest individual resistance. So for us to further understand these descriptions, let us try to answer this question. The diagram on the right side shows a battery connected to two resistors in 
parallel. So resistor 1 has 10 ohms, then the other resistor has 20 ohms. This time, let us answer the first question. What is the total resistance in the circuit? For us to compute the total resistance, we have to use this formula. And we can present it in this simplified form. Total resistance is equal to 1 over 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 20 ohms. Can you try to compute for the total resistance? And the correct answer is 6.67 ohms. So that is the total resistance in this whole circuit. Applying the concept that we have learned a while ago, that the total resistance in a parallel circuit is always smaller than the smallest resistance in the circuit. So in here, the smallest is 10, and our total resistance is 6.67, which is much smaller to that value. Letter B, which resistor has the highest voltage? Hmm, is it resistor 1 with 10 ohms or resistor 2 with 20 ohms? Hmm, the correct answer, none of them because they all have equal voltages. If you can still remember the explanation or description a while ago, if the voltage running through this circuit is 6 volts, then both of them receiving 6 volts as well. Letter C, which resistor has the highest current? For us to answer this question, we have to apply the concept we have learned about the relationship between current and resistance. And we know that they are inversely proportional. The answer is the resistor with 10 ohms. Because the lower the resistance, the higher the current. You have to remember again, they are inversely proportional. Learning this, we can now discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of a parallel circuit. The first advantage of a parallel circuit is that each bulb receives full voltage from the battery. With that, it glows brightly. Second, if one bulb is removed, then the other bulbs are still working since we have several pathways for the current to flow. On the other hand, the disadvantages of a parallel circuit are the following. Number one, it has complicated arrangement and difficult to build since we need several pathways, so we have to do it portion by portion. Number two, no matter whether you have several power sources or just one, the voltage across a parallel circuit remains the same simply because the voltage in each bulb would be the same as the source. For us to further understand and visualize the parallel circuits, then let's check these simulations. You can see here that we have a parallel circuit and a series circuit. But first, let us focus on the left side diagram. We have here three bulbs connected in parallel and a switch and two batteries. Let us try now to turn on the switch. There you go. So all the bulbs are working. Now, let us try to check the voltage in this circuit using the voltmeter. So again, when we use a voltmeter, it should be in parallel. So connect it here and connect it here. So based on the reading, we got 18 volts for this bulb. Let's try the other bulbs. This one and this one. Oh, it's still 18. First bulb, still 18. So 
the voltages are equal or the same in all the components. This time, let us try to break one of the lines. Let's try to click here, then cut the this bulb. Oh, if you have seen or observed, the other two bulbs are still working despite of the breakage in this line. Because remember, the charges have several paths to take because a parallel circuit has two or more loops all right so we got that one this time let us try to compare the brightness of the parallel circuit or the bulbs in parallel circuits against with the bulbs in connected in series Turn on. Oh, do you see the difference? The reason again is that the voltage receiving by each bulb is equal to the source. So with that, it glows brightly. In our home, Mostly, the connections are in parallel because try to think of it. If our appliances are connected in series, when one malfunction, then the rest will not work. That's why typically in a household, the circuit that is commonly used is the parallel. And that's it. We are done. I hope you learned something today. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you again in my next Teach Blog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.